Hi everyone, welcome to the Real Estate Spot. This week, we'll be taking a look at the top 5 developments that will be coming to St. Catherine for 2021. So, look out, enjoy this video, and remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So let's begin. So first, we'll look at a development that will be coming from Wiccan and this was an interest form that was sent by an email and based on in the link i think the development will name westchester and as you see the units will be two bedroom two and a half bathroom town houses it is in a gated community 10 to 15 minutes away from a major highway 20 minutes from elsha beach and 10 minutes from sovereign village persons similar familiar with portmore maybe would have an idea of exactly where um this project will be but it seems like it will be the central location um maybe the greater portmore area of portmore um if they are modeling the same design they have another development in portmore that they built a couple of years ago named the Bermond. um similar townhouses this is a picture of it so this is in what more so this was two and a half um two bedroom two and a half bath this was built about what 2016 right and they stated that 100 square feet in each unit two bedroom two and a half townhouses equipped with solar water eater tank a resident can benefit from extra amenities like clubhouse and multi-purpose court so i will assume and they said being a stone throw away from Hellshire Beach and Newton. So maybe this will be either an extension to the Berman or it will be close by. So similar design, I would assume maybe that they will be taking on townhouses. So this would be a, how it, the, the development will look. And I will leave the link to the interest form because currently there are not enough information out. So they're taking on persons who are interested now and you know normally these development go pretty fast so it's best you get on the list for persons who are interested and then basic information needed for the interest list so full name email phone number location your purchase readiness so you know you normally need to have an idea of how much you will be getting from the nht and then now you also have an idea of a first of all you have a budget of price point that you'll be working with and then you're able to get how much you're eligible from from the nht and just in case if you need well not just in case you will need additional funds so you'll have to go to one of the financial institutions preferably with the ones that is with the program the joint finance program with the nht so that you'll be able to join both the NHT and the funds from the financial institution for your own purchase. All right. Next on the list, we have all we, we have been hearing about Shooters Hill by the HAJ. Right. Hearing a lot about Shooters Hill. Well, this development will be located in Portmore. Elsha to be exact leading to well not Elsha but leading to Elsha um, I think it's right across from an entrance greater Portmore they are positioned it as the Beverly Hills of Portmore because it will be basically on the hillside um, they are now clearing the land space for the development and as you see the proposed shooters in development i assume the shooters in name will be rechanged because i don't think that shooters Hill is a good name it's an our culture and things but it will include road network water supply and they will be making 623 units and 155 acres um Details. So you see, there will be one bedroom, one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, one bathroom, two bathrooms. Um, this also you can also put in a uh, housing interest. 
so if you are interested in it I think once I heard the prices was starting like 7 million for the one bed one bath but as I said the prices are not finalized as yet so maybe but more, more than likely one bedroom will start about maybe around the 7 mil range and then you know it go up to maybe around 17 million or so for the three bedroom two bath so I think they will be having one bed, one bath, two bed, one bath, two bed, two bath, and three bed, two bath. And as I said, it's name as a shooter zil. Coming soon. I know that you're clearing the lands now, based on the last time I went by. They are clearing the lands. I don't know what's the proposed date as yet for this project to be completed we have been waiting for this project for a long while but it seems like it will be gradually coming along just taking a little time so if you're interested you can look out for this development and as i said it is located across from based on this map is in the vicinity of a greater across from greater portmore it will be on the side like so they are putting it as the Beverly Hills I know it will be might receive some fancy name because the shooters it will not work I don't think the government want a name like that attached to a development by them so the location Portmore St. Catherine and the description so you can go on the HAJ website I will leave a link also in the description and you do your housing interest survey that you're able to get updates on the development and any other development that might be around and yes sure you can see the documents that is required normally the HAJ um oh, there is nothing available at this time to say normally the HAJ normally requires that you do a deposit and so for this project will not it's not like a NHC that is on a points business so um you know it will be first come first serve from once you have your deposit and the necessary documents so you have to show your pre-approval letter the deposit and any other documents that will be needed so tr and id but the most important you have the deposit remember the deposits are with five to ten percent and then now of the cost of the unit and so forth but i think this will be a good development for that area all right the third one on the list that we are going to move on to same HAG. and this one i know a lot of persons looking out for this development uh, let's see if i can find it upcoming projects right and this upcoming project is St. Catherine Estate Housing Development and everybody is waiting on this project because it will reasonable price see St. Catherine Estate near Bernard Lodge Estate um, it will be built by the this building by HAJ in partner with China Arbor um, and they show you lot sizes which start at 2400 square feet to 2800 square feet each OC unit will configure for easy upward and outward expansion so they are building it as a starter unit I think it will be like um, 1200 units that will be building and this project is coming from a long time ago of 2012 and I know a lot of persons are waiting because it, the price range is within a low income so you see the starting price so they will be having they will be having um, duplex and single duplex so for example they'll be having um, For example, our two houses attached to each other, they're split in the middle, like, and then they have single units by themselves. So 
naturally I think the 5.5 .5 million will be for the duplex and the 6.6 .6 million will be for the detached homes right so you have a duplex studio and you have detached houses and the project is coming along they are currently putting up the buildings so same here you can go on the page also housing interests and you are able to sign up they ask for name trn phone number the type of housing scheme interest you are send catch in a state and which in which of the in your state the ones that you you are interested in but this will be a very this one will i know will it's been high demand because the price point is reasonable. So NHT alone will cover hmm, both of them. They, they, the company don't confirm as it how I know once I heard that it was going to be financed 100% by the NHT. I don't know if that stand still or there will be changes, but hopefully by this year i know i saw article once that they wanted to hand over some of the units by may of this year so hopefully we'll see if that materialize and as you'll see on this image you'll be getting um tennis court so uh, not a tennis court this yeah no not a tennis court sorry a football field not like a football field so more than like you might have a play area as well for kids and Maybe I uh, like a like a uh, common area together, but look out for this development that will be coming along. So this is a Saint Catherine Estate housing development, and it will be coming by the HAJ in partnership with China Arbor. All right. Next on the list, we move on to Gore Development. So core development, you know, currently they are building Phoenix Park in St. Catherine, right? And Phoenix Park 2, Phoenix Park Village 2 will be coming soon. So they are saying that you sh it should be launched in 2023, but I know that they are building now as well. So maybe it will be a continuation from current, I think they're now at phase four within Phoenix Park Village One. And this is in Portmore. And we are plan we plan to continue to build two bed, one bath, two bed, two bath. And the same here. If you're interested, you click your interest and you add on the waiting list. It's better best to add on the waiting list because normally this waiting list. A lot of persons and they're normally I know the last um phase that they had applications for it was only person that was on the waiting list that was able to apply. Those were the only person that received the link. They had a link to um to the application and within two hours the application was oversubscribed. So it's best to add to the waiting list. So they are saying as you may know, we start building um phoenix park village in greater port moist and catching in 2017 and we have sold phases one two and three and we have just launched and sold phase four which will be built april 2020 april 2021 to april 2022 wherever we close our waiting list for the last remaining phase phase five we expect to finish building Phoenix Park Village in 2023. So I had to do waiting list just the same because what happens sometimes is that persons that might have put in the application sometime might no longer interested. So you might be the lucky one to get a call that you are selected. Your application was selected and you see they're going to build 3,000 home within phase, sorry, within phase 3, within um, the Phoenix Park Village 2 and what the houses look like. So for example, now they have um two sizes. 
375 square feet and 810 square feet. That is a house size. The lot sizes range from, I believe, 3,500, right? So 3,500 lot size. And this is a two bed, one bath. You can see I some pictures of it. All right, this is our the design. This is in Greater Portmore, bedroom one, kitchen. It's the outside, so shower lawn finish. You're getting um, a solar water heater. Mm -hmm. and this is the idea of how the house will look. So this is a two bed, one bath. And the lot size is three five. And normally you have to do a deposit. So if you go on the website again, they give you a pretty good breakdown of what the cost of the home will be like. But you know these prices will increase. Come phase, come the Phoenix Park Village too. God, these prices will go up as you know, currency and material prices are going up and so forth. Yes, a larger lots are available at an additional price. So this price is 11.75 for 3,500 square feet. You know, if I get normally the corner lots are a little bit bigger. To maybe about 4,000, so you might you pay an additional cost. Right, and give you a pretty good information, a map, and so forth of how it will look. Alright, let us go now to the two bed two bath. So the two bed two bath. The two bed two bath. Okay. Oh, this is the same two bed one bath. 810 square feet. So that's the whole size is a little bit bigger. I would assume maybe maybe what will happen in phase um in the village Phoenix Park Village 2 is that um They will maybe have a house size of maybe 910 or there about in the 900 square feet. If they are going to go two bed one, um, two bed two bath. So, but now in phase four, and they only have two bed one bath. Thus, the house sizes are different. I don't know if it's a typo on the website. Why it says two bed one bath, but this house size is 810 square feet and the lot size 3500 square feet. And see, you give a breakdown, they give you the floor plan. You can go on the website, browse around. See, this is a floor, floor plan with concrete roof, solar water heater, alarm system, ceramic tiles, single glaze, glass windows. With insect screen so you, get, you have a pretty good breakdown of um, what the development will look like right and how what is the what is the layout of the plan the floor plan and also you have other information about the, the subdivision the costing so the, what the pricing is like so uh, they are showing you that and they require normally a 5% deposit. So this is the cost of the unit for both the, the 675 square feet and the 810 square feet house. So you see they're showing the cost of the units and then they have the earnest money, which is a deposit. And then they have a closing cost. So the closing cost normally registration and other little miscellaneous fees that the developer will um charge and they show you how how you can make um the deposit my manager's check or so forth so good breakdown of of the development so you can get an idea of what the cost is like and they also give you a timeline for when the house is to be completed this is for phase four of village phoenix park village one so as i said they will be coming for Phoenix, coming with Phoenix Park Village 2. So go on the website and get added to the wait list.
because that's what they normally use first send persons the links and to application and information normally persons who are on the wait list will receive all right so a fifth and final development is coming from chemtech and chemtech will be having colbeck manor and colbeck manor is within will be within um saint catherine that's right it's within saint catherine but not put more this time old arbor so we're going a little bit further so now they are currently doing development in old arbor so now it was they, they, they started selling last year so there's a phase three coming 2021 and i saw some posts on their social media page that says about june they'll be having phase three in october they launched with phase one and two which was sold out in less than a month all right so let's go through and see what this Colbeck manner is about all right let's go back manor. so you're going to chemtech chemtechhomes.com all right so they have um three house category they have the vista and the vista is so the citadel the citadel is two bedrooms one bath they have the vista which is two bedrooms two bath and they have the monarch which is three bedroom two bath just go more details and look kind of breakdown of it so you see the citadel um in phase one and two was sold for 13.5 million and you had to do a deposit of 1.35 which is 10 percent of the cost and they show you the process so you need a quali pre qualify you complete the application select your lot and you pay your deposit all right let us see what so the outside, the outside of the development is two bedroom for the two bedroom, one bathroom for the citadel, 3,500 square feet for the lot, and the unit is 810 square feet. Um, so let's look, look at some pictures of what the Chemtech development, Colbeck Manor, will look like. All right, so this is a washroom, wash area. This is bedroom one, bedroom two. Here, yeah. this is a kitchen area, granite countertop, beautiful cabinet work, and you'll get um the eye ceiling, proper air ventilation. Okay, yeah. so in the kitchen you have a cabinet. This is the pantry area and living dining this is an open layout plan for the kitchen living and dining kitchen again this is a considered a dining area mm -hmm. living room area right there we're going back to the wash area All right and just to note this development will consist of a swimming pool gym um clubhouse another little amenities all right let us now go this is the layout of it so you see the veranda is the dimension the veranda size the living dining room kitchen second bathroom and second bedroom you have the bathroom right let's go to the vista now the vista is a popular seller for seller for chemtech very nicely laid out so this we are looking at is the living dining kitchen it's a beautiful open area this is the living room looking at the living room just know that we're not getting these furnitures <laughs> just a staging this is the dining area kitchen we are looking at the kitchen now bedroom so the vista is two bedroom 
two bath. It is um, the end suite bathroom. So this bathroom will be within a room. This bathroom will for share within a room. And when you have guests, it says master bedroom and wash area. So it's a codec manner. You see, it's two bed, two bathroom. Lot size is three five to four thousand, and the unit size is nine thousand. Sorry, nine hundred and eighty square feet. And this price was fifteen million deposit one point five. All right. And this is the layout of it. How it will look. And the dimension so you'll have an idea of the size of the rooms and kitchen dining living all right let's go to the monarch the monarch is the monarch also the citadel is the first time that chemtech will be developed will be building this design of houses so the monarch now is the for 18 million deposit of 1.5 and this will consist of a three bedroom, two bathroom house, lot size 4,000 square feet. And the unit size is 1,184 square feet. Look at some pictures. Okay, this is a master bedroom, master bath, mm -hmm. master bathroom. This is second bedroom, third bedroom. This is a Bathroom that will be shared between bedroom one and um, bedroom two and three. Large laundry room. This is a living room. We are looking at the living area space, a dining, open plan. See, kitchen area. This is a kitchen area of the monarch. Right, and as I stated before, the development will consist of, see if I can go back to development, it will consist of a swimming pool, gym, clubhouse, right, that's a cool bit, my nice bit gated community nestled in the historic area of the cool bit casting old arbor, and you see the citadel also a new design, and the Vista. Vista is a signature open plan. So I tell you the Vista is popular in their development and Chemtech is known for very good development, well kept. They have development in sentences such as um, the Draxall Country Club and Draxall Manor. They also have in Trelawney, Stonebrook Manor. They have a development in Kingston as well, which is called Six Ottawa. Which is an apartment complex. So the complex manor also features clubhouse with swimming pool, indoor gym, open parks, and spaces. So residents may also enjoy the outdoors. So as I said, they stated that the, 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 the um, phase three will be coming in 2021. I know those prices that we see now will be going up. So bear that in mind and they went pretty fast in phase one and two so you have to have that deposit ready and you can normally can follow them on their um instagram page they will normally give pretty good update application when it's open and um place an application when it's open and you will get the update on when they'll be starting the application and so forth and be on the lookout for this development within Old Arbor. Um, very good development. Very good. Let us just take a look at some of the previous development that projects that they had. So they, for example, they have drugs. All right, so good breakdown. So this is a Juxal Manor. So they had, they had different units there. But you see, very, very, very nice development. Well kept. Well kept development. And they are just the same swimming pool, tennis court, clubhouse. 
See, Stonebrook Vista, this is the one in Trelawney. Yeah, this one in St. Mary. So they are a pretty good developer. So just all, just get the things ready, documents ready. Be on the lookout. Follow various social media pages. Basically, get on the waiting list or interest list for the development. That's any update that they should give. You are able to receive it first before normally the general public and then you're able to go in and do your project so as i mentioned the top five developments to look out for for 2021 in st catherine so you can use the link in the description to find the website i will place in the link there so you're able to look through and see the one that will best suit your need and then you go from there and get on the journey of home ownership so thank you once more for watching this video